Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different on my channel. I'm going to be doing my first acrylic pour video. I'm stuck in the house, we're in quarantine, and I don't feel like doing my makeup. So I'm just going to be putting a bunch of paints on a canvas and showing that to you. So, here we go. I have my canvas here, and I have some thumbtacks on each corner to kind of hold it up a little bit. Here are the colors that I'm going to be using. So I've got gold, a dark blue, black, and white. So. Sometimes I get a little crazy with the colors and I put too much and it becomes like a crazy mess. So I'm just going to kind of limit it to four and see how this goes. I'm going to be doing a flip cup technique. I've got a clean cup there and I'm probably going to start off with my black. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of each color into my cup. On there. Here comes the fun part. So I'm just put my canvas on top of the cup and flip it over. And I'm going to let this sit for maybe about 30 seconds. So I just poured a little bit of the extra black around the cup and I put the cup upside down here to kind of get rid of any of the paint. So it's been about 30 seconds now, so I'm just going to move that out a little bit. Then when I'm confident enough, I'm gonna slowly lift my cup. see some cells already popping up. There we go. Got some cells there. Silicone is good for creating cells, but I find that I don't really even need silicone for some good cells. Look at like right here. And this white is good old fashioned house paint. Just scraping out any extra paint. Don't like to waste paint. This is already such a wasteful project. Although I will collect any extra paint at the end and put it in a cup and reuse it. I'm just gonna lift my canvas and I'm gonna start moving the paints around. It's kind of looking a little bit muddy, so I'm just going to pour that off the side. Oops. Flip my canvas over. That looks super cool. I like that a lot. Set it this way. Okay. I feel like there's a lot of white happening there. So. Ooh, that looks awesome. Okay. That looks so cool. I really like that. So, ooh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get any paint out of here. Try. I hope that I can. So I don't use the majority of that. And I'll just leave that as is. And just clean up the edges by just rubbing my fingers along. Edge. So now I'm going to take a torch and I'm going to try to get some more cells. 
Careful not to burn your painting. Because that can happen. It's just a whole bunch of white here. Here is the finished piece. So we have all these little things here. There's a whole bunch of whites that I'm not entirely happy with, but I can live with. That looks really cool there. That is awesome. Well, thank you for watching my first acrylic pour video. If it's something that you want to see more of, please let me know. I know it has nothing to do with makeup, but I'm bored. I'm in quarantine, and I thought I would try something else. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.